This is 13 News at 6. Good evening. Thank you so much for joining us. I'm Patrick Simon. And I'm Jennifer Abney. It's been called a national health emergency, but now a new bipartisan attack on the opioid crisis is receiving praise from both sides of the aisle. The problem is that it's worse in West Virginia and the Appalachian region, and billions of federal dollars are now coming to help. 13 News Chief Political Reporter Mark Curtis is more. The fight against drug addiction in West Virginia and surrounding states took on a new chapter after both houses of Congress passed the Opioid Crisis Response Act. Among other things, the bill offers $8 billion for items such as state drug treatment programs, quick response teams to target overdoses modeled after those in Huntington, and the Synthetics Trafficking and Overdose Prevention Act, known as STOP. Uh, the STOP Act is something that was passed here, incredibly important. A lot of folks don't realize synthetic opiates Things like fentanyl that are killing so many West Virginians uh, come across our border through the Postal Service, through FedEx, through UPS. The bill is getting wide praise for including law enforcement plus prevention and treatment. Well, I think we don't get people out of the destruction of opioid crisis, opioid addiction, if we don't find recovery options for them. We have to invest in our uh, police force and in law enforcement, but we also have to invest in recovery on the other end of it. But as the nation prepares a greater targeting of opioids, other drug use is rising. Methamphetamine is crushing us right now. Uh, increased use of black market marijuana and there's all sorts of preservatives, all sorts of pesticides, all sorts of things in that marijuana. So we've got all sorts of challenges we're facing right now. The U.S. Senate passed the bill on a 99 to 1 vote. Well, I think West Virginia has been hit so hard by the opioid crisis. It's nice to see our federal uh, delegation focusing on the issue and, and putting West Virginians first and put, giving them hope to move forward. As always with bills in Congress, the House and Senate have to work out their minor differences, but President Trump says when they do, he'll sign the opioid bill into law. At the state capitol in Charleston, I'm Mark Curtis, 13 News, working for you. The bill also adds more money for the Caring, Recovery, and Infants and Babies Act, known as the CRIB Act, that helps babies born addicted who are being treated in places like Lily's Place in Huntington. 